In this video, I will be adding my thoughts on Thanksgiving from a place of compassion that I have for animal life. This video is going to be fashionably late, but there will be other Thanksgivings. Or will there? But can we have Thanksgiving without turkey? Many non-vegans may be thinking, what's Thanksgiving without turkey? But thanks to the innovation of many adventurous vegans, we have many delicious options to grace the Thanksgiving table whilst honoring life and still continuing family traditions. There are tons of choices to enhance those family gatherings this season. You have stuffed pumpkin, stuffed butternut squash, stuffed mushrooms, stuffed tofurkey, lots of stuff. Satan ham, mushroom wellington, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Lots of yummy options to share with your loved ones this season. Lucky for you, transitioning to a vegan diet is not hard these days, with so many vegan versions of American's favorite foods. And you don't even need to be vegan to enjoy these mouth-watering meals, nor do you need a special day to make them. These meals can be a delightful comfort during the cold winter months. And I will include resources and links in the bio to some of these recipes and many more scrumptious options that can warm you up during the winter months. Now, I had written another short bit on the treatment of animals before they make it to the American dinner table, but I realized that I am not gifted at filtering my passionate feelings when it comes to violence and brutality. So instead, I will link another YouTuber who I feel does a fantastic job of honoring the feelings of non-vegans and I will add their video here. But I will include that it indeed pains me to know that millions of turkeys are raised for the slaughter each year. But does that honor life when we celebrate a holiday built on genocide? by supporting an industry built on genocide. It's a hard truth to acknowledge when you put it that way, but we can't deny the truth in that statement. Because even if we do away with factory farms and mass production and make the change to smaller farms where turkeys are allowed to be treated like royalty before their execution, would that make up for taking their lives? The truth is, it's not about the cruel life the turkey had to go through in order to make it to the American plate. It's the harsh truth that is being killed at all. This makes it a matter of ethics and not dietary preference, which I feel brings more clarity to the conversation. I am not an educator, teacher, or expert by any means on nutrition, anthropology, anatomy, or sociology. So I encourage you to do your own research and discover the truth yourself, because I feel that that is the most empowering way to learn and grow as a spiritual being experiencing the human condition. So can we have Thanksgiving without turkey and without giving up valued family traditions? Yes, what better way to celebrate the value of life and family by honoring life and family in a cruelty-free Thanksgiving dinner. For those who feel adventurous and curious, I wish you luck on your vegan journey. Lastly, what I am grateful for. I am grateful that we don't have to kill animals to live a long, healthy life and that there are creative vegan options that make it easy to transition into a vegan diet today. I am grateful for my family, my friends, and all my basic needs met. I'm grateful the future isn't fixed, which gives us the opportunity to change the future. And cheers to those compassionate souls that give their unconditional service to make the world a better place. Another world is possible. To world peace and the end of violence on this planet forever! Yeah! From my heart to you and yours, happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Live long and prosper.